And Stacy is here, and this is the time of year that you want to head to the hills. That's right. To get Beat away the, from the heat. heat. Yes. Yes. 95 degrees our afternoon high today. Only three degrees shy on a record this afternoon. It was so 93 in the studio. Yeah. <laughs> it was. Uh, temperatures are going to remain warm throughout the rest of tonight. Our overnight lows will be in the 60s. So we'll start out tomorrow morning at 64 degrees, 72 degrees at 9 a.m., and then 11 a.m. we'll have 81 degrees with partly cloudy skies. We are headed to upper 80s for the afternoon tomorrow, uh, but it's looking good for the day. I also wanted to show you a picture from Dave Masters in Evergreen. Look at these guys trying to cool off Evergreen Lake. That looks so refreshing out there. But this guy is still getting prepared. You got to be ready for fall when it shows up in winter. Tammy sending in this great photo. This little guy having a meal. Temperatures in the mid 90s this afternoon around Denver. Triple digits toward Pueblo at 101 this afternoon. 98 for Grand Junction and 92 for Craig. Here at this point is very comfortable across the front range in the low to mid 70s here. Now we have 60s up farther uh, to farther up in elevation off to the west and then for the eastern plains temperature are in the 60s and 70s as well. Fire weather warning in effect for all the red shaded areas until 8 p.m. tomorrow. So as our temperatures have been going up, we've been drying out and that's creating higher fire danger. Now across the eastern plains, we still have some strong thunderstorms from Burlington to Cheyenne Wells. Uh, just west of uh, Cheyenne Wells, we do have a thunderstorm that looks like it might have a little bit of hail with it, but we'll keep a close eye on that. No watches or warnings in effect right now. Temperatures in the 50s and 60s here for the Denver area by tomorrow morning. So it's going to be a mild over overnight, partly cloudy skies, and then tomorrow just a smidge cooler during the day. We'll have 88 here in Denver, 90s uh, farther to the south around Colorado Springs and Lyman, eight, 70s and 80s for the high country, 98 for Grand Junction, but a little closer into town. We'll have 89 in Broomfield, 86 in Evergreen and 88 for Parker, also 88 up toward Fort Collins. If you're headed to the bus stop tomorrow morning, it looks pretty good. 66 degrees, a nice start, and then 88 degrees going home with a few scattered thunderstorms. Some of those could be strong into the afternoon, but mostly across the eastern plains. If you're going to the Rockies game versus the Marlins tomorrow at 640, temperatures will be in the mid 80s and we will have a chance for a few scattered thunderstorms pushing on through. Our highs this afternoon, we're in the mid 90s as I mentioned, so tomorrow it'll be a little cooler, but we do have a chance for scattered thunderstorms across the plains, general thunderstorms here. So I do think we'll see most of the strong thunderstorms farther to our east. Afternoon highs though will stay in the upper 80s here Friday and Saturday, 95 by Sunday, and you'll notice it's drying out here. So more sunshine means more heat. We'll get up to 96 on Monday afternoon, Tuesday 94. A few scattered thunderstorms into Wednesday and 94. Our afternoon high notice those overnight lows in the 60s. And we'll be right back.